day grade 3 learners welcome to our lesson for mathematics 3 quarter 3 with 3 day 1 our topic for today is understanding probability words before we begin please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you activating prior knowledge Let's review ordering of similar fraction. Let the learners arrange the following fraction from the least to greatest. How do we order similar fractions? We look at the numerators. The greater the numerator, the greater the value of the fraction. The expected answers is Next, ask about learners' intuitive understanding of events that are likely and unlikely to happen based on their personal experience. What is likely to happen if you study your lesson several days before your test? And why? It is likely that I will get a high score because I have been studying and preparing for the test for several days. What if, what if you did not study your lesson before your test? What could possibly happen? It is unlikely that I will get a high score. Lesson Purpose Intention To use the phrases likely, unlikely, most likely, and least likely in describing outcomes in real-life situation. Lesson Language Practice Everybody will go to read the Lesson Language Practice. Developing understanding of the key idea STEM. Materials A transparent container that is large enough to hold the bottle cups. Pet bottle cups of the same size and different colors. 9 blue, 2 green, and 30 white. Pause table A with the headings forward at first. Then show the learners the blue and green cups in the container, same as the illustration. Pause table B with the headings covered at first. Then show to the learners the blue and green cups in the container. Ask the learners the following questions. What is inside this container? Inside the container are bottle cups. How many bottle cups are there in all? There are 10 bottle cups. Confirm that there are 10 bottle cups in all. Write 10 beside the total number of cups, written at the last row of the table. On the chart, uncover the heading of the second column. Have those two learners write the number of cups for each color on the chart. What part of the total number of cups are blue? How about the green cups? The blue cups are 8 out of 10 cups or 8 tenths of the total cups. 
Now the red cups are 2 out of 10 cups or 2 tenths of the total cups. On the chart, uncover the heading of the third column. In line with the blue color, write 8 out of 10 or 8 tenths. In line with the green color, write 2 out of 10 or 2 tenths. Observably, there are more blue cups point at 8 out of 10 or 8 tenths on the chart than green cups point at 2 out of 10 or 2 tenths on the chart. Since this is the case, the chance or likelihood of picking a blue cup from the container is greater than the chance of picking a green cup. We can say that the outcome which is picking a blue cup from the container is likely to happen. We use the phrase likely to happen for an outcome that has a greater chance of happening compared to another possible outcomes. Consequently, we say that the chance of picking a green cup is unlikely to happen since the green cups are only two-tenths of the total cup. We say likely to happen for an outcome that has a greater, greater chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. We say unlikely to happen for an outcome that has a lesser chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. On the chart, under this, uncover the heading of the fourth column. Under this column, in the second row, write likely in line with the blue color of cup and unlikely in line with the green color of the cup. The completed chart is as follows. As 10 learners one at a time to pick a cup with their eyes closed, use tally marks to record the results. Make sure that the learner returns the cup to the container and that the cups are mixed well before the next learners pick one. Deepening understanding of the key ideas then. Table B. What are the different colors of cups? The colors are white, blue, and green. How many are colored white? There are 30 white cups. What about blue and green cups? There are 9 blue cups and 1 green cup. How many cups are there in all? There are 40 cups in all. The completed table is as follows. What part of the total number of cups are white cups? The white cups are 30 out of 40 or 30 over 40 of the total cups. Write 30 over 40 in row 2 of the third column. What part of the total number of cups are blue cups? The blue cups are 9 out of 40 or 9 over 40 of the total cups. Write 9 over 40 in row 3 of the third column. What part of the total number of cups are green cups? The green cup is 1 out of 40, or 1 over 40 of the total cups. Write 1 over 40 in row 4 of the third column. The completed table is as follows. Direct the learner's attention to the fractions in the third column of the table. Arrange the fractions from the least to greatest. The fractions are similar fractions because all their denominators are the same. The expected answer is 1 over 40, 9 over 40, and 30 over 40. Which of the three fractions has the greatest value? It is 30 over 40. How do you know? This fraction has the greatest numerator among the three fractions. Which out outcome does it represent? It represents picking a white cup. 
Since picking a white cup has the greatest chance of happening compared to the other possible outcomes, it is most likely to happen. Write most likely in row 2 of the fourth column. We say most likely to happen for an outcome that has the greatest chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. Which of the fraction is the least? It is 1 over 40. How do you know? This fraction has the least numerator among the three fractions. Which outcome does it represent? It represents picking a green cup. Since picking a green cup has the least chance of happening compared to the other possible outcomes, it is least likely to happen or very unlikely to happen. The first one is more often used than the second one. Write least likely in row 4 of the fourth column. We say least likely to happen for an outcome that has the least chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. What about picking a blue cup? What fraction corresponds to picking a blue cup? It is 9 over 40. Since the chance of picking a blue cup is also small, though not as small as picking a green cup, we can say that picking a blue cup is unlikely to happen. Write unlikely in row 3 of the fourth column. The completed table is as follows. Making generalization and abstraction. When do we say that an outcome is likely to happen? We say an outcome is likely to happen if it has a greater chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. What about unlikely to happen? We say an outcome is unlikely to happen if it has a lesser chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. What about most likely to happen? We say an outcome is most likely to happen if it has the greatest chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. What about least likely to happen? We say an outcome is least likely to happen if it has the least chance of happening compared to all other possible outcomes. Evaluating learning. the following balls 25 white balls 3 dotted balls 10 gray balls and 1 straight balls